So today we are going to make my homemade bread and this is what it looks like sliced. So we use this for sandwiches, soups, just to eat. We've already eaten half this loaf already, but I'll put the ingredients list here that you need and let's just get into it. So I had to voice over all this because Lucas had a toy and it was so loud. But anyways, you're going to start with two cups of warm water. You're going to get a fourth a cup of honey and then one tablespoon of dry active yeast. And you're going to put all of that in a bowl together and you're going to stir it up, mix it up as best that you can. And you're going to let it sit and bloom for about 10 minutes. And you can see Macy here is getting the dry active yeast. I had to move it to this container because Lucas dumped it all out. Toddler problems. After you've let this bloom for about 10 minutes, it'll look like this. Then you're gonna add two tablespoons of melted butter. Okay, and then you'll add two teaspoons of salt. Macy's got one and the other one. teaspoons of salt and then this is where you're going to add the flour now you're going to use at least five cups probably but we're going to start off with four and a half before we put it in the mixer so i use this oh my goodness i almost dropped it unbleached. i use this all-purpose unbleached flour right now um it does a pretty good job and i just like roughly measure my flour to grab the half sis three, four, put the half in there. One half. Yep. And then we're gonna put this in the, I have a stand mixer with a bread hook. Just dump it in there. sides like that that's when you're going to want to add your other half cup of flour throw her in there Macy You should it should form in a ball and then you're going to cover it and let it sit all i'm going to do with this is just kind of put it into a ball it shouldn't stick to the side if you got enough flour it should come out like a ball like this i'm just going to kind of pat her down a little and stick her in there see she looks like this and we're just going to cover her with plastic and stick her in a warm place for an hour i just stick her on top of my stove and she will rise in between time is when I kind of like do laundry or I do the dishes which I already did earlier I just get some stuff done because it does have to rise for an hour so I just kind of run in between and do my household chores in the meantime so that's what we're gonna do so it's done proofing this is what it looks like after you do that you just gotta slap the air out of it <laughs> that's Macy's favorite part now we're i'm gonna grease these with just spray yeah eat it go for it usually i use butter but the last couple times i use butter where this is already divided for slices it kind of pulled in there in a way i didn't like so we're going to try spray it this time and see if that helps so then we're going to take all of our dough out like this pull 
Pop it on the table. And then I'm going to divide it in half. I forgot to get my thing. What thing? My chopper. So we're just going to rip it in half. This is my even way to do it, I guess. Okay. Can you still see me? Yeah. Okay. Then I'm going to take it and like shape it in a rectangle, kind of loosely in a rectangle. And then we're just going to roll it up like that and put it down in the pan. Like so. And we'll do the other one. This one's going to be a little bit bigger. I always have one that's a little bit bigger. <laughs> Last time Macy's was bigger. So rectangle. And I just roll her up. Yeah, see how much bigger that one is. And we'll just put it in there. Like that. And then we're going to cover both of these again. I usually just use my dish towel. And that's going to sit for an hour and proof up again. So this is what our raised loaves look like. Like I said, there's always one bigger than the other. So we're gonna put this in the oven for 350, you don't need the oven mitt, for 350 for 30 minutes. Get the sad one. Now, these are super hard when they come out of the oven, but they do soften as they cool. So there you go guys for watching i hope you enjoyed our bread recipe and make sure you hit the like button and subscribe so you can see when i post more videos like this thanks Bye. Bye.